Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be looking at the new PvP leagues update in beta and as you can see this is the reward screen you're going to get very used to once it goes fully live. At the end of raids, at the end of territory attacks, at the end of anything that rewards PvP trophies you'll see these rewards. And the multiplier at the top is based on your team grade and as you can see I've got 36 trophies for this one raid. If it was using my live regions where I have an S8 team in the new grading system, I would get a three times multiplier. So instead of being 36, I'd be getting what? 90, it'd be a lot more. Um, uh, same with the faction trophies, it's based on my team grade. And when I attack, the team you saw me attacking with was very low key in here in beta. Um, and then these trophies, go towards your league standings. So we'll check out the league standings right now. Top left hand corner below my name, uh, it says leagues. You click on this and it takes you to the league standings currently. Um, you can see that on the left hand side you get league tokens, on the right hand side you get coins for the solo placement. Right now it's one coin and that's just basically to show you there will be coins when it goes live but these coins amounts will be higher. Um, from the screenshots we saw before, I don't know, if, again, they could have just been test screenshots. It did look like it was going quite high. Um, there was 10s, 100s, up to 100s, probably. Um, we'll have to see when it goes live, though. Um, it will be more than one, I can guarantee that. And it'll be, obviously, it will scale. Just like these rewards um, will scale. Um, at the moment, it's quite just like the first place within Diamond gets the same as last place. I would assume it would scale a little bit more than that. There are also other ways you can get these league tokens, and that is within faction leagues. And it's the same works, the same principle, but it's ranking your faction based on everyone in your faction's performance. And you get these league tokens, but you also get these season tokens. And season tokens are only available on this faction leagues table. And within solo leagues, there's a milestone tab down the bottom. You just click that, and based on how many um, of these you get in a solo season you will get extra season token rewards. As you can see, you need 14,826 solo trophies this season to reach the next milestone. Seasons last eight weeks. In this, it lasts five days in uh, beta, and that's just because they want to test it out, make sure you know the functionality is there. They're probably going to do it a couple of times, maybe go to season two, season three, who knows. Um, and if we look in the right-hand side, you can see that my battle bonus right now is 1.2. And you can see it's based on team grade. And this is based on the new team grading system. You can see what your current new team grade is by attacking someone in a friendly duel, just leaving that friendly duel. And I think at this point, at the end screen, it shows your team grade, your new team grades in the top left and top right hand corners. And in my, in my regions, I'm S8 and you can apparently get up to s10 it's based on mods if weapons count as well my it might count more i'm not sure if they, the full recalculation is going to come in we'll have to wait and see but if you've got a very lowly team if you're new to the game you'll be getting a one times multiplier but if you've got a built up team you're going to get a bigger multiplier this is how it works in a lot of other games the only difference is in other games you actually have cooldowns on how often you can use characters and teams within those sort of league systems and that doesn't apparently seem to be the way here. If we also look at other tabs here, you can see League Ladder. It just shows you, you know, the tier system. The schedule is going to be the season schedule. Right now, as you can see, today, uh, tomorrow, the day after, it's one day per stretch. Whereas in when it goes live, it'll be one week per stretch. And I believe, I, I'm just going off memory here, that all this info is in the patch um, video that I made yesterday. And it's one week per stretch and it lasts for eight weeks. You can only get promoted and demoted during the stretches. In the home stretch, you are locked into whatever part of the league you are in. Um, and then you will be in the same part the next season. But the very first season, the first week, is going to be a seeding stretch. Basically, a seeding for the, for the beta, it's a seeding day. But it'll be a seeding week. And this will be basically two, or it might be one or two weeks. I can't remember that, what it said in the, in the beta post. Um, but it will, it will be a, a seeding placement um, in terms of like just grading, seeing how um, people are and where they should be placed within the leagues. So you can go, like I said in that video, you can go a little ham and try and place higher than you normally would if you were just going normal. Um, but you'd have to keep that up to, to sort of sustain your placement. On the events tab, you can also see the events that are currently rewarding 
trophies, and right now there's no there's no tournaments going on, but raid battles and territory battles always reward trophies. So there's actually going to be a use to doing raids now. I I avoided doing raids for a while just because it was time consuming. The only thing it really gave me was food and materials. I did raid for food for a while, I, when food was bad, then food got better, and now I'm raiding for materials every now and again because materials is quite bad. So I'm going to be raiding for trophies as well, of course. It does show you a multiplier. It does show you, you know, what the base of each of these are. So for one raid attack, you're going to get 30. For one um, territory attack, you're going to get 15. You can obviously do 10 territory attacks and six raids in terms of your energy refreshes. Now we'll look at the store, which I'm sure most of you are interested in. And as you can see, there's a league store on the right-hand side, which scales from bronze to platinum, silver, gold in the middle. And there's a season store on the on the left hand side your two currencies at the top left hand side being league tokens right hand side being season tokens they're just messaging with me here that that, that just hits me because the seasons on the season stores on the right hand side I don't know. we'll ignore that we'll ignore that first of all we're going to look in the league store and it's a huge store but depending on which section you click depends on which area of the store you just sk skip to so we'll click bronze and we'll just go to, from left to right as you can see if you're in bronze league you'll get all the stuff in bronze here in terms of availability to you in the store. If you're in silver, you'll get all the silver stuff and I would assume you would get the bronze stuff as well. And it just tears up. So this one is what, tier four, four stars, tier three, five stars. This is tier four, five stars, tier one, six stars. This is tier two and tier three, um, six stars. And this is tier four, six stars in platinum. Um, there are mod crates in here, but I think they're bugged because you get four in this platinum one and it's 50-50, but in the gold one, you get four and it's 100% gold. So I think they're the wrong way around, but like I said, but I, you know, like it's kind of obvious, in beta it's just like a representation of functionality. I'm sure they'll have noticed that, hopefully. If they don't and they watch this video, sort that out because that, yeah, it's not meant to be like that. It's definitely not meant to be like that. Um, we'll look at the other store, which I guess most people will be interested in. When we saw the um, in initial promo um, images, it had a five-star ascendable Sawyer as the picture. Right now in beta, there's four six stars. Now, this probably will not be the rewards. I'm going to go ahead and say that. It probably will not be the rewards. There might be a six-star reward in here. It's doubtful. There probably will not be like very recent promos, like Naya was only a couple of weeks ago. You know, Yvette's a possibility... You know, these sort of characters are possibility. It's going to cost a lot more than 50. You know, I'm getting for my milestone rewards. If we check back for my milestones, I'm getting a lot for my milestones. If I complete the top milestone for the season, I'm getting 11,000. I would assume that that could maybe get me one five star. This The pricing on this is going to go massively up, and that's how it always works in beta. I can't even see the prices in the in here just yet until the seeding tournament ends and again it doesn't matter too much what the pricing is here it's probably all going to cost one which is normally how it's happened in the past where everything just cost one and that's just so they can you can test out make sure like you can get stuff and just testing out the functionality mainly um so it looks interesting we're gonna have to wait until this until it goes live to really get a good idea but you know i'm looking forward to this without a doubt if you're not, if you're not, if you think if, if you think it's overwhelming, don't be too worried. It's literally all it is is a scoring system for things that are already in the game, which you already do. If you don't want to do the stuff, you don't have to. You're just not going to get extra rewards. This is completely extra. The only downside is you're probably going to have to do a certain amount depending on your factions. So you can't be someone who goes, ah, I don't really want to do this. I don't really care too much for this. There are going to be factions that really want to do well in this. And I'm guessing you, your um, performances and stuff can be tracked by within your faction. Um, so if I click on a faction, it'll probably show member scores. There we go. It does show member scores. So you can see how much everyone's contributing. So it's kind of like um, faction assault tickets. Same sort of deal. Um, except there's no real limit, apparently, to this. Um, so it's interesting. It's going to be... It's going to be interesting to see how this goes because you can see maybe people focusing on um, activity within this sort of part of the game, which is which is nice. 
um, in terms of just performance within those events. Activity is going to be massively key. Um, I do like one thing. You can see right now in the top left-hand corner of leagues, it's just a, a silver shield. I'm, a, I'm guessing once the seeding has finished, those will update to the sort of leagues you're in. You can see um, you know, diamond, platinum, um, and, uh, and gold here. But there will be, I think there'll be lower divisions. I don't think there's a lower division currently. It could be based on the amount of players or I'm not sure how that works at the moment in beta. It's just very, very much a testing scenario. You also get live updates at the end of raids. I'm going to just do one raid quickly and skip to the end of it. So as you're going to see, you're going to see these gray shields because I'm, I'm, I'm placed at the moment. But if I was gold or if I was silver or bronze or whatever league I'm in, that would be the the league it would show me the league i'm in for my individual league and it'll show me the league i'm in for my faction league it also shows an ongoing score for your trophies which is cool especially for the faction one i guess you're going to be able to keep track of your own trophies quite easily but seeing the faction one go up within like a raid tournament could be really cool just seeing everyone being active and just seeing that faction total go up massively um but yeah like i said i'm really interested to see how this is going to happen you know how it's going to work when it's live it does look really interesting currently um, but I think we're going to have to see it in live, you know, to really have a good idea, especially with things like um, the schedule and stuff like that, because at the moment the schedule is just based on a beta schedule. Um, but that's it in this video, guys. Tell me what you think. Are you excited for PvP leaks? Are you going to just try and get as much information as possible? If you want more information, check out my last video. It gave a big rundown on the beta update patch notes, but... If you're someone who just wants to be like, ah, oh, you know, I'll just see when it comes out, that's going to be fine. I think that's going to be fine. I think if you just play when it comes out, you can't really go wrong. All you have to do is when it comes out, you just click on events and then you can always see where you can score points and then just do everything in here to get these points and then you're done. It's as simple as that. Tournaments will show up in here as well when they're up. Uh, but like I said, this is the end of this video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in and as always, guys, keep on surviving. Keep on surviving.